everybody welcome back let's talk today about abuse abuse in a relationship or a marriage I can give you examples that I went through in a marriage that I was in that was abusive it was abusive toward me and I didn't do anything wrong a person that's in an abusive relationship doesn't do anything wrong but the person that's abusing them finds everything in the world that's wrong and even makes things up about things that they think their partner is doing wrong. One thing I went through in my marriage was, let's talk about money. I was not allowed to spend a dime. Now we had money, we did have money, but I wasn't allowed to shop for anything. No personal items. I wasn't allowed to buy a bra. I wasn't allowed to buy any, nothing, nothing. If I wanted something, it had to be approved through him first. And if he said I didn't need it, I wasn't getting it. I, there was no way I was getting it. No way in the world was I getting it. He controlled the money and I wasn't allowed to touch it. I wasn't allowed to see it. I wasn't allowed to have it. I wasn't allowed to anything. Now, mind you, he was out buying lottery tickets and he was doing his thing and with money and every once in a while if he had a winning lottery ticket he would give it to me and be so happy here you can have this I won 20 bucks thanks and try to make me feel good and I he wanted me to just thank him and thank him and he wanted to think he was the greatest person in the world for giving me this lottery ticket for 20 bucks I wasn't a he I wasn't allowed now everyone I have back problems bad I have really I have a rod in my spine I have everything going on I have muscular problems and what helped me the most at the time were massages I would go once a month to get a massage well after about three of them you know because they're around fifty dollars I wasn't allowed to do it anymore you know and I I just I argued, I argued back, but these help me. I need to do this. No, you're not doing it anymore. That's too much money. So my massages were cut out now. And that's something that I needed for me. I needed for me. My husband now, you know, I get a massage every often, more often. And he, he encourages me. If that helps you go, if that helps you go do whatever helps you. That's the way a marriage is supposed to be be not you know even my medication there were times that he wouldn't let me get my medication because he said no we're not paying it. it's too much money now it was like 10 bucks our copay he wouldn't let me he would not he wouldn't let me nothing nothing he controlled everything and when he did permit something it was like he was God he acted like God because he allowed me to do something now in this marriage everything was my fault no matter what happened it was my fault if if something went wrong with the house it was my fault if everything everything was my fault even things he made up it was my fault it was my fault and it got to the point he just humiliated me so much he would then start saying you know what I'm gonna break you I am going to break you what does that mean in a marriage, what does that mean? I'm going to break you. And I would say, what do you mean? He said, you'll see, I'm going to break you. I'm going to break you. Well, in a marriage, you're not supposed to want to break your spouse down. You're not supposed to want to do that. And I will tell you, by, oh, close to the time that I got away from that marriage, which is another story, because that was hard to do, he almost had me broke. He almost had me broke. I cried all the time. I, 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 just, I was a mess. I was a complete mess. I ended up going to see a counselor. They put me on antidepressants and things like that because I couldn't handle this man in my marriage, which then turned into, it's your fault, it's your fault, you can't handle it. It's your fault you're on these pills. And then he would laugh at me. He would think it was funny that here I am almost broken and he's the one breaking me that I couldn't handle it that he would make fun of me 
that's an, you don't want to make, don't make fun of your spouse. There wasn't anything wrong with me. Nothing was wrong with me. Everything was wrong with him. Everything was wrong with him. And I'll tell you, when I got away from him, which was hard to do, my whole life turned around. The depression was gone, the anxiety was gone, and everything was gone. Nothing wrong with me. Now, in the lines of everything is my fault, I guess, or when he would get really mad at me, he would get so mad at me about things that I don't, I didn't, I didn't even know why sometimes. He would just blow up, abnormally blow up, get so mad, he would break my things. He thought it was okay to break my things. Well, I'll tell you, he broke pictures. Anything of value that I had, he broke. He broke. He thought it was okay to break my piano. Now, I love my piano, and I love playing my piano. And it was in the basement, and it didn't bother him. It didn't bother anybody. I could go down and play. Well, I came home from work one day and sat down to play my piano. It was broke. It was broke. I, I, the keys are just sound. I'm like, I opened it up and look in, looked inside. All the heads on my piano were broken. All the, all the hammers. He broke every one of them every one of them and I went upstairs and I said why did you break my piano you deserved it you deserved that no I didn't deserve and I didn't even I didn't do anything at this time I was walking on eggshells trying not to do anything wrong because I knew he would blow up so I mean I tried to cook the perfect dinners I tried to do that's another story I, I did nothing wrong and he thought it was okay to break things that I liked. Like my computer, he broke my laptop, he broke my piano, he broke pictures of my kids, he broke whatever he wanted to, that was mine. He thought it was okay to break. Well, let me tell you something. If you're in a relationship like that, get out. I know it's hard to get out of an abusive relationship. I know it is. I know it is. I tried. But these are just a few things that I went through with this marriage. And now, you know, I'll make it I'll make another video because there is a lot more. So this is just part 1. Part 1 of things that I went through in this marriage that there was nothing wrong with me. There was nothing wrong with me. And if you're going through this, there's nothing wrong with you. You need to get out. Find a way to get out. It's hard to get out. And I'll talk about that in my next video. It is hard to get out. People say, why don't you just leave? They, your abuser threatens and makes it almost possible, impossible for you to leave. So I'll talk about that in my next video. But if you're with somebody like that, start thinking about wanting to get out because life is better without them trust me life is much better without them all right if you like my video subscribe like come back for more part two is coming part two is coming and i'll see you later